Hi, my name's Sean. I am the chef at Whole Earth Center in Princeton, New Jersey. Um, I run the All Vegetarian Deli. We have been in business since 1970. Um, I'm going to walk you through a, uh, a couple of tomato dishes today. Heirloom tomatoes are in season right now, and um, they're a really great main dish, side dish, and accompaniment to anything that you have going on. So the first recipe I'm going to be walking you through is um, an heirloom gazpacho. We try to do um, different types of gazpacho every week, especially when they're in season during the summer. We offer up a lot of cold soups here. So the first thing you want to start with is your tomatoes. Um, I have lovely heirloom tomatoes here that I've already cut up. So we're going to put these into a large container. On this side here, I have about two cups each of zucchini. Uh, yellow summer squash, some English cucumbers or hothouse cucumbers, and some shallots. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our stick blender, and if you don't have a stick blender, you can obviously use a food processor or a blender at home. You're just going to have to do it in batches. Uh, but for our purposes, we're going to use this large container here and this really almost intimidating stick blender. So what you want to do... Um, when you're making a gazpacho is you want to have that soup-like consistency. So what I find the best when you make a gazpacho is this um, very veggie juice. Um, it cuts the acidity of the tomato and it makes, um, it's a really nice accompaniment and it kind of mellows out the flavor and keeps everything nice and balanced so you can taste all the ingredients. Um, so we're going to add two bottles of this to our, this is, I want to say this is about eight to 10 pounds of tomatoes. You want to make sure it's nice and mixed up. Okay, you're going to add one bottle. you're going to add a second bottle. And don't worry about stirring it before you put the stick blender in because everything's going to get pureed together. Um, before I continue, I'm going to put my gloves on. And while I'm pureeing, I'm going to add some regular sea salt, just a touch. There's no real rhyme or reason to the sea salt. Um, you can put as much or as little as you like. And I'm going to add some white pepper just a touch. So it might get a little loud. Now before I continue, I wanted to add that the reason we use the veggie juice is that not only does it cut the acidity of the tomato, but it also keeps a beautiful red color, um, which you don't really find when you're using raw tomatoes. Um, so it keeps that nice, deep, rich red color so all the greens and the yellows and the purples can come out and you end up with a really beautiful dish. I have here some organic extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to add that because I'm just about finished pureeing the um, tomato base. Um, it gives it a nice kind of richness uh, to the gazpacho. And you don't really need so much. Okay, so that's pureed up. Now we're gonna add our fresh cut veggies. So I'm going to start with the shallots. Shallots are um, less sharp than your normal red onion or um, your yellow onion. Of course, if you don't have access to shallots, you can use red or yellow onions, um, but these just give a little bit more of a mellow flavor um, to the gazpacho. It balances really nicely with the rest of the vegetables. Next, you're going to add your hothouse cucumber or your English cucumber. Um, I like using these. These hold up a lot better in salads. They're not as mushy, and they're a little easier to work with, especially when you're making cold soups. Next, we're going to add our zucchini squash. And finally, we're going to add our summer squash. We source a lot of local ingredients here. Um, all the squash that I've used and the tomatoes are provided locally from farms in town or in a really close proximity to Princeton. Um, which is really one of the really great things about working here. Now we're going to add a touch more sea salt just to kind of make that flavor of the squash and the shallots and the cucumbers pop. A little bit more white pepper 
and um, we're going to use a whisk to mix everything together and get everything nice and incorporated. If you don't have access to a whisk, of course you can use uh, a spoon or a spatula, anything you have lying around. And there you have it. There's our heirloom tomato gazpacho, sourced with local squash, local shallots, some really nice extra virgin olive oil, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Thank you.